Alors, on va aller leur faire. So we're back for the fifth week in Belgium. Come straight to the hall because I picked up some skis from the head factory to drop off at the ski room and then it's to the hotel. Four days, final block of this camp. I've filmed quite a lot of random stuff and I'm quite behind with editing. So this episode is going to bring everything up to date. So the reason I stopped in the head factory on our weekend home was because after this camp I'm going to be heading off on a solo trip to New Zealand. I'm heading there for a month to hit some races over there and a bit of training too. So I need to make sure that I had all the skis and everything I need in order ready to go. So I had three pairs ground, freshened up and two new pairs and this week I'm going to be deciding which of these pairs I'm going to take with me and also need to get myself sorted with making sure I have everything to take with me because it's just me going. I'm going to be tuning my own skis out there as well so I'm going to have to take all the gear with me as well. Uh, and once I leave here all this stuff goes to Sasfe uh, where the other guys have their next camp. So these next four days were well, some good skiing. I've got to get my butt in order. Gonna head back. Training starts 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> What is this? Fresh! Off the press! Oh, you messed it right up. I got hooked on the geriatric duck. Someone has been on the energy gels. Been a big session. Ooh. <laughs> really good ski sessions in this block with challenging courses again but that wasn't the only challenging thing we had. Doris decided to give us some puzzles. Maybe he thought we needed some more entertainment after being at the dome for five weeks. So one day we came down to dinner and we found a bunch of clues and a puzzle box. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> my head hurts already. We're really confused. Our brains aren't up to this, Doris. Because we were trying to open the box, but we can't open the box. Oh, yes, you can. We can open oh, the box. Oh, now we yeah. feel really. Now can we. Open the box yeah, how do you else do you think I put something in there? We can't get into <laughs> it. <laughs> do, these, do these have any clues in how opening it? No. no. Let's go figure this out. We're going to get this. And if not, you <laughs> have and you're gonna watch. It was our mission to open this box. We were working together and we were gonna get it open with whatever means necessary. Hey, hello, it's my little friend.
need more chocolate. <laughs> 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 like that, that. Okay, what have you done? Yeah, normally, you just put it on these two sides and pull. And you pull there. But it could be that it used a little bit too much glue. You <laughs> sneaky! You got us! You got us! Uh. <laughs> Knew it was something. Three sets of hands on it. <laughs> Sort of Rush kept us entertained for quite a few hours trying to get into that box. Anyway, this was a really good camp. Pretty damn intense. As you saw, Sam was there. So we had the crows. We even got to ski some Croatian courses, which was fun. But by the end of the last day of training, when it was time to pack up, we were cooked. So that was the end of the camp in Belgium. Five weeks there, a lot of skiing and a lot of practice. And since then, what have I been up to? Came back after a few days off, got stuck back into training. This last week, my friend Cameron Thomas, who also was in one of my videos last year, came over for the week, spurred me on. and even joined in with some of my training. It was great to have someone join in with the training and an old friend from the BSA days. Exactly. So how are you finding this week? How's the training? It's been pretty easy so far to be honest. How's the body feeling? The recovery time needed. The worst thing, the most gruesome thing, putting up with Laurie for five days. It's been pretty <laughs> tough. All he does is win. Lies. Got a big day planned today. This morning, We've got the Devil's Workout, 666, six, six, six rounds, six exercises, and then six minutes rest. Ooh. Then we're heading to Bangor. The Devil's Workout starts off with four deadlifts, straight into hops over the bar, Then into lateral goblets. These are a killer. From there, running straight over to 20 seconds max on the assault bike. Feeling like death, you have to stumble off and into the ladders to do some precision work. And then finally, finishing off on the Swiss ball. Where, in this case, Cameron is pushing me to challenge my balance. All of this is to simulate the feeling at the end of the course. I'm glad I'm finished. You've got one left. <laughs> this is the next part of the test. <laughs> Cameron's final episode. Come on, come on. Nice one. Lovely and sunny here, but we're keeping up the tradition 
Last year we did Kitzbühel. This year we're hitting Wengen, driving over there, and hike to the top. Weather's well, looking good here. I'm not sure what it's looking like over in the mountains. But we'll see you over there. We set off on a hike, aiming to get to the top of the downhill. And we were both in awe of how beautiful it was. For anyone that fancies downhill, you're going to fly off of this. Right into that. Not me. A little short of the top, we realised to make Cameron's flight that evening, we had to hustle down and get a train so Cameron could get to his flight. Oh no. Yeah, we missed it. Hello. See when the next one is. We did miss that train, but we got the next one and Cameron comfortably made his flight. And that is the videos all up to date with where I am now. Things were a little up in the air with whether I would go to New Zealand or not because it's been warm over there, not much snow, but it seems like they've had a whole bunch of snow making recently and I'm hoping things continue to trend that way. So I'm going in a week today. Tomorrow, going to Greece, a few days holiday. It's Katia's birthday. And then day after I get back, I fly to New Zealand. I've said at the start of this video, that this is the final episode of Behind the Brits. Not ever, but it is for now. As I'm going over there just by myself, it's gonna be its own series. I'm gonna say it's gonna be every week, but we'll see how it goes. Watch out for the new series of episodes going to New Zealand and um, see you then. Hey, good breakfast. morning. Okay, um, hi, it's working. We finally got some budget in there. Thanks for coming in. We find Dave again. So he's back home, living happily and enjoying the paper runs. But I have a question for you guys. But I have a signal message for you. Somebody has to go to explore some new countries. We'll see what happens and we'll go on. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. <laughs>